Welcome to video number 10, where I'm going to continue to build the roofing worksheet. Um, I'm going to do a couple housekeeping things before we move along much further. I'm sorry, on the last uh, video, I couldn't convert 2,720 square feet of roof into 28 squares. That's something that I just had a brain lapse there because I should be able to do that walking and chewing gum. Um, I'm going to put a border or borders all around this. I'm going to put a thick border. I'll back up, show you one. Sometimes I just, darn it, went too far. Um, I'm going to left click and I'm going to highlight the area that I want to, I want to left click and hold down. I'm going to highlight the area that I want to put uh, borders on. This is all borders. And I'm going to leave that same area highlighted. I'm going to put a thick border around the whole thing. On this, uh, under area number 10, I'm going to put a thick border on the bottom. So it'll kind of dif differentiate this area. I'm going to put my squares, total squares of the roof. I'm going to make that uh, a little bit larger and make it bold. And this is uh, total squares. Now, I can't just use the totals off of here for my eave because every roof is different. I'll show you why. Grab this and pull it down. Uh, say, for instance, this roof. This is a real complicated roof. Um, there's, if you figure that the, there's rakes here, there's rakes here, there's a bay window. Uh, that if you figured a roof just like a ranch style, you would have a rake on, you'd have two rakes on both each side. In this case, you've got rakes here and valleys here. So when you get into more complicated roofs, you'll appreciate having the calculator that I'm building here because then you can keep track of what you're doing. Uh, here again, let's put the uh, thick bottom border on um, and let's make all of those bold. Um, our eave, now we're going to be using a uh, a roof that I'm kind of going off from is built something like this. I'm going to put two dormers here. This is 30 feet, 50 feet. Here's 16 foot rakes. This is 16, 16, 16, 16, and this is 14. Um, here again, if this, I figure this has one roof area. So this is this, this is a roof area. This is a roof area. So these valleys get put into this roof area. If you could draw a line across here, this would be a rough area and that would be a rough area. So we have our eave. I've got 30 feet and 30 feet. Then I've got 50 feet of rake. Or 50 foot of, uh, I'm sorry, 50 foot of eave on the uh, one side. And because the valleys and that other rough line come into it, I probably only have 26 feet of rake on the other side, or 26 feet of E, I'm sorry. With our rakes, I've got uh, 14, 14, and I've got 16. I'm going to just use fill to, to add three more, and then my each dormer is going to have 20 feet of rake. My valley, this valley is 19 feet, and for each dormer, I'm going to figure 10 foot of valley. I probably should just put those at uh, tw 20 feet because you need that for uh, overlap, but I'm just going to leave it just like that for now. And then we're going to take 20 feet of valley for each dormer. Our hip and ridge. Here, let's 
clean that up a little bit. We're going to do wrap text, and that will allow us to, uh, in this cell, for the to get the whole thing without making a wider column. Okay, hip and ridge. I've got. Uh, um, here's another thing. I, when you get into more complicated things, you might want to put notes here off to the side. So this is the addition roof. This is the main roof. That's a dormer. That's a dormer. And you can change those as you need to to figure stuff. Hip and ridge on the addition. We've got 30 feet on the main roof. I've got 50 feet. Each dormer is going to have 15. And then we're going to have the tie-in to the where the two roofs tie together. And we're going to put that at uh, oh, 18 feet. Okay, we're going to figure in some uh, waste on all of these stuff, and we're going to take our put our waste factor is going to be in this cell. We're going to put that as a percentage. We're going to make that 10% of waste, and I think we can live with a little bit larger uh, font there. And I think totals can be a little larger font too. Okay. My Eve is going to be equals this times our waste factor and then plus Eve again. So what I did is I created a percentage or a 10% plus the, uh, the Eve amount or the linear foot of the Eve. Press enter. Um, there's a, probably a simpler way of doing that and that's just make this 110% and then redo this formula equals Eve times waste factor enter rake equals actual foot of uh, rake times waste factor enter valley equals valley times waste factor enter linear foot of hip and ridge equals hip and ridge times waste factor enter uh, ridge vent I didn't do that yet I'm assuming that these are separate uh, roof areas so I can vent both of them I'm gonna put uh, 20 feet of uh, ridge vent on the addition and on the main roof I'm gonna put 40 feet okay ridge vent linear feet of ridge vent equals ridge vent times waste factor. Enter. Now my lineal feet of winter guard. Now I'm going to start working off of these numbers. Well, I can use roundup on these. Roundup. You get to type you type it that far and it says it gets it there for you. Press tab and it will start to build the formula by building the formula it'll tell you that you need uh, a parenthesis on this end this is a number this look at this as one number and then I need a comma zero another end of parentheses which ends the argument press enter I can do it that way or what might be simpler for a lot of you is uh, since it's not real critical at this point just decrease the decimal. I'll take you back one here. You see we lost here. It it rounded down. Uh, took off two tenths of a foot. Here it rounded up. And here it rounded up. I'm assuming from five it rounds up. From below five it rounds down. Because we uh, have some waste factor and when we start putting it into actual sticks it will I 
think this is a good place where you can just use the uh, decrease decimal. See, decrease decimal, increase decimal. Pretty handy little thing to use. Okay, lineal feed of Winter Guard. Now you might call it ice and water. Um, for a long time, certainty Winter Guard is all we had around here, so uh, we call it Winter Guard. Okay, uh, this equals our lineal foot of rake times two because in most areas you've got to get two feet beyond the interior wall which allows you to get or the two foot overhang which is quite common in our area you're going to have uh, two rows of winter guard times two I don't suppose I have to but I am going to put brackets or parentheses around that that tells that tells Excel to treat that as one number plus my rake I know my valley yeah I'm gonna back up here because I'm gonna start building formulas off of cell I'm just gonna press escape I'm gonna start naming these cells this is Eve enter this is rake oops what did I do okay back button is your friend always remember that rake enter and you'll see why later that this is helpful valley enter Enter. Maybe I should have built that one differently last time. Let's go. This is a uh, feet ridge event and press enter. Okay, now when it comes time to build. When it comes time to figure the amount of winter guard or ice and water, I'm going to press uh, equals Eve. And now instead of it telling me that this is cell number G13, it tells me I have Eve times 2. And again, I'm going to put brackets on that so that I don't think I need to do that, but it in uh, Excel speak, that is one number now, plus my valley. Enter. And uh, I think I will decrease the decimal here. You're going to see I'm going to use Roundup next. Okay. Equals. My rolls of Roundup, or my rolls of Winter Garden, I'm sorry. Round press tab and it starts the formula. My lineal feet of winter guard divided by 33 feet in a one square roll, comma, number of digits, which is zero, bracket to end the argument, press equals. We're going to need 12 rolls of winter guard. Now these what I do here, let's see how much time I have left here. Uh, I got about 45 seconds left. These are questions that I ask myself. These are where I put input in. Um, number of pipe flashings and then I will enter that stuff down here. If you want to put out a quick, you can put these questions down there or you can put them up here where you do a lot of your calculations I just prefer to make on myself a little set of questions that automatically fills in below. Uh, number of pipe flashings, there's going to be two. My chimney vent flashing, that's a metal bestus type thing, which is quite common in our area. Uh, there's going to be a one on this, and it's going to be a six inch, which I can enter someplace else. We're not going to have any can vents. This